Right, a bit of a different angle for you today. Sort of looking down on the garden. But what I want to do is an update on the elephant ears or colocasia in my bog filter to the koi pond. So now I'm up here. I'll give them a quick feed because they're uh, as soon as they see me they they do get a bit excited so I'll chuck a bit of feed in, get that out of the way. I have left a lot of the pond weed and stuff in this year so they could have something to spawn on because we've been getting a lot of fry sort of survive over the last few years so I've sort of lost count of how many fish we've got in here now. There is maybe about 16 to 18 large, but um, there's a lot of small ones in there as well. But yeah, so the pond is doing okay. And it's definitely helped. I don't run... I did uh, put a UV light on the pond to start with at the beginning of the year, which uh, you know just helps with that algae bloom first thing, stop the water going green. But I turned that off over a month ago now because the, the natural balance with all the plants and uh, the filtration, you know, it, it keeps the, the algae under control basically. So there's a quick look at the fish because we ain't seen them this year. And now let's get to the point of the video. Some of the elephant ears. So this is the first time I really sort of took note of a close up how good these are looking because uh, most of my other colocasia have uh, suffered from spider mites but I'm guessing just doing being in this area with the pond evaporation and that is that's probably a, a fairly decent humidity level even in the hot dry summer we've had and with the koi obviously they make a lot of uh, fish waste which gets pumped through to the top of this uh, bog filter back into the pond so that is perfect environment for growing anything nutrient hungry that likes water. So for me, that's going to be a colocasia. Um, yeah, so these are standard Escalante at the top here. Let's see if we can get they they're, they're good size leaves on them. To be fair, they're looking good, held up pretty good. We really had much in the way of strong winds this this season, so that's good. I remember last year it's quite windy. Um, what we got? We've got the diamond head here, which is quite nice because uh, you can see the veins sort of stand out as a. Don't know if it's picking up on camera, but slightly different uh, gloss level to the rest of the leaf, so it sort of stands out as a almost like an embossed image onto the leaf. And it's quite nice. So they've done okay, they're not huge, but they're, they're looking good. We've got the black magic over this side, which again is uh, nothing massive, but doing okay. I did try as an experiment, as in fairness, to put uh, pink china in, which I've done uh, disappointingly, as usual. That's why I don't really bother, but I mean, you compare the pink china leaf, which is basically the size of my hand, to a standard Escalante, and just no comparison, just so much bigger. It looks so much uh, more tropical, and they're uh, not far off the hardiness level, to be fair. I leave a lot of these in the ground, and they come back. And I will remind everyone that I literally just had the starter pots which I started these collocations up on a little tiny four inch pot there I just placed it on top of the bottom filter maybe an inch down into the water and obviously I root through the bottom of the pot straight into the, the gravel and take up as much moisture and nutrients as they want so that is the same case with all of these not that you can see the pots but they're all in small pots, so I can just lift them out at the end of the season, trim the roots, dry them out, jobs are good. So that is a look at some of the colocasias in the bog filter. And there, that's probably the, the biggest leaf I've had this year. So 
quite good. Nearly two foot that one. Right. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.